Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right. What a Wednesday here today. What a Wednesday with your friend Dan O. Thank you for joining me midweek. Hope you're having a happy hump day. What we're going to be taking a look at is the new recolor and um, packaging and whatnot of this bugger. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, this is the original uh, first time that we saw this casting was the Matchbox Collectors um, from Mattel. This was the first of 20, and uh, big, huge packaging, comes with a box, uh, just an awesome thing. This is the 1965 Land Rover Gen 2 pickup. If we can stay focused, we're so excited. <laughs> yeah, so uh, just really kind of cool, true grip tires, metal die cast uh, body, uh, but just really kind of cool. So this was uh, this came out uh, just uh, late last year uh, 2020 was the trademark uh, So it was 2021 when it came out. This was the first four cars out of out of the 20 and uh, Yeah, so there you go. That was the original first time that we saw this um, casting and uh, well by the way I had a couple of them or whatnot, and so I decided to open one. Yes, uh, I haven't gotten another one since. <laughs> yeah, so I, I got two and I decided to open one. So really kind of awesome. We did a whole video on this already uh, when we uh, got it. And uh, so, yeah, so just really cool. So the opening parts is the doors. And we'll see that in the uh, in the recolor because now they have taken this uh, cool and vintage Land Rover with the uh, oh that's a right hooker did I know that yeah so we have taken this and uh, recolored it so let's take a look at the base now this is a plastic base it's all chromed out uh, so it's not a metal on metal like. Uh, the premiums that we get from Hot Wheels, but uh, there you go, 65 Land Rover Gen 2 pickup, and um, yeah, the 2020 Mattel, so this just came out, but it's got the, the real grip tires, which are really cool, this is, they're kind of, and the rims kind of emulate steelies, which is uh, the most common thing that uh, Land Rovers came in, or came on as Series 1, 1965, with the uh, eggs on the grill, as I'd like to call it. Very, very nicely done. Uh, trim work and paint work. There's trim work along that galvanized capping along the uh, bed, uh, which is on your regular Land Rover. Uh, they, I mean, it's just, just cool, just cool. They even put a little mark on for the door handle there. Uh, the back tailgate doesn't open. But it does have a bumper hitch on it, all chromed out. Uh, very, very nice uh, back there as well with the chrome uh, or the uh, galvanized uh, corner pieces with tail lights and the backup lights, marker lights there. So really a kind of cool uh, casting, really kind of cool. And at the time I was like, man, I hope they do more with this. I don't know what or how. But this is how. Yes, yeah, so uh, uh, the, my last die cast meet, uh, I got this from Dustin, and uh, hats off to him. Uh, so this is the Matchbox Moving Parts Series, I guess. They don't number them or anything like that. And uh, as I, I said before, this is kind of their goofy packaging. They do this so uh, when it's hanging up on the peg, uh, with the pegboard there or peg wire the youngsters can see down below what model it is um 
so yeah so they can shop better they can beg and uh, so let's flip this around and just take a look at the back here just uh, for uh, you know the um, legal parts and you know we've got to make sure everybody uh, gets the total look around as well as the UPC code because that's kind of interesting or or a good bit of information so you can kind of look things up by the UPC so really kind of cool uh, this is uh, this is it so the 1965 Land Rover Gen 2 pickup uh, it, uh, yeah you can see this one also has a chrome base to it uh, not much different from the one that's out of the box uh, we can kind of see through the packaging I'm sorry we we just can't open it guys I just can't do it <laughs> but uh, you know a nice you know I, I yes it is it's a metallic mauve I would say uh, just sharp black interior still the original one had a black interior uh, same color windshield on it uh, the head the uh, spare tire on the bonnet comes up through the metal body but uh, you can see that the front door the drivers or the passengers door is propped open with the plastic clamshell stuff there now this has got one of my favorite um, matchbox wheels to it this is I kind of like these wheels I kind of I don't know what they're called but I kind of call them the traditional Land Rover matchbox wheels I really like those but those are plastic wheels they are not rubber at all or anything like that just regular um, your your mainline wheels but uh, it does get the treatment of all the painting of the grill and the headlights and the turn signals and it's got a a um, uh, Land Rover license plate on the front there chrome bumper which you know totally is not uh, Land Rover at all if anything it would be a painted bumper but uh, yeah it's got the windshield wipers on the windshield just a really nice uh, model I'm not really sure I'm, well I know for sure that this is not a uh, Land Rover stock color especially metallic I don't know if they ever did any kind of metallic stuff uh, for series or defenders at all um, but it wasn't until I think they got into Range Rovers and some of the discoveries later on and stuff like that that they got into metallic flake stuff but it's really kind of cool it's kind of um, it's nice that we can get this model in um, I mean nothing can beat this yellow that was awesome uh, the the cool and vintage so the this uh, matchbox collectors that was like uh, 549 579 at Walmart and now this moving parts that retails I think two 249 279 something like that so under three dollars around three dollars so it would be really nice and and you know the moving parts um, I think they only come 12 to a case and if we get two Land Rovers in a case that would be great but I don't think we do uh, that's why he only had one unless he kept one for himself and he's holding back on me <laughs> it's a possibility possibility but anyway um, so I mean uh, the I think these came 12 to a case too I mean the the regular main line only come 24 uh, to a case and you're lucky to get duplicates there but uh, like you know Hot Wheels that's uh, 72 to a case so you can get duplicates and sometimes uh, quadruplicates is that a word trot quad quadruplicates but there we go very nice it's got a uh, you can see in the background behind it's got like a country road scene there we got trees we got uh, guardrail there it looks like uh, possibly uh, yeah nice big long guard it's, it's got a lake scene uh, if you look through the guardrail there's a lake back there along this uh, double lined no passing zone road so really kind of cool I, I like this I 
if I win and if, win and if, uh, I get another one, we'll definitely open it up. But this one, I would, I just wanted to go ahead and get it out here that this is out there and uh, available for you to purchase. Uh, so yeah, the shipping and, and stocking is a hit and miss all over. So, all right, that's it. Thank you for joining me today. You guys have been great. Hope you guys have a good rest of the week. Happy hump day to you. This is your friend Dano. I'm out of here. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.